One of the major benefits of having a tow dolly is we can go to an area and we'll typically go for two or three weeks and then park and we'll take day trips with the car. Um, it's really come in handy when we're around cities. We've gone to San Francisco and places that we wouldn't ever be able to bring the RV because that's our house. So we can just take the car, really quick trips. We get really good gas mileage. Um, so I'm gonna show you how to load up a car on the tow dolly. Put the trailer up to your hitch. Make sure the pin's in there. Uh, hook up your chains. And then do the lights. Make sure that this is clean and clear of anything. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure to inspect the lights and make sure that they're working. It's really helpful to have somebody else to help you out with that. The first thing is you wanna take out the, we've got a pin right here. And I just pull this out, pull the pin out. And that way we can undo this, pull it back. So we can drop the ramp down. Okay, so now that we've got the ramp unattached, you just simply drop it down like so. And now we're ready to bring the car up on it. All right, now that we've got the car perfectly lined up and the ramp down, it's time to drive it up. Now we're gonna secure the ramp and we just move that on tighten this as tight as it will go simply put the pin through and then i'm going to put this pin to lock that in there we go so now it's time to strap up the tires and I was told when we bought this trailer that these kind of work as uh, as seat belts for the car to make sure that they don't it doesn't slide off if something were to go wrong first thing is you want to make sure that this is centered with the tire now one of the things that I recommend is these are left and right so when you store them I store it in the trunk of the car and I keep this on the left side and I keep the right one on the right side so this simply goes right there and we pull this over the tire okay we want to make sure it's completely untangled and this simply goes right over the tire there and you want to make sure that you put this all the way on the other side and it's not hung up on anything we've got the back piece on now it's time to tighten this up. And it's a little finicky. You wanna make sure that this ends up right about here. Cause if you tighten it too much, it's gonna get in the way of the top part. And you don't want this to be on the actual rubber if possible. So I make sure everything looks good. It's flat, it's not creased in any way. And then we go ahead and simply tighten it. And you wanna tighten it as much as you can without actually shrinking it and lifting it up. There, that's good. Now it's not tight, it's snug, because now we're gonna go and ratchet it up. Put it through here, as tight as you can, and we tighten it. notice we're not at our campsite doing this and one of the things that we've learned is you want to make sure if you have the availability to do it on on tar that's a lot better than doing it on gravel and we've had a lot of rain here in Texas over the past few days so the gravel it was really muddy and what I've learned is when you go and try to go up the ramp the tires can spin and we've actually uh, done a little bit of damage to our car going up there we've got the car strapped up we're ready to hit the road. Bye.